Imagine for a moment, you're a woman in the lower half, economically the lower half of the world. You carry wood on your head, 20 to 40 pounds every day, collecting it from harsh conditions. And then you cook for many hours every day, uh, inhaling smoke worth several packs of cigarettes. And repeat day after day for the rest of your life. Now imagine something worse. In September 2004, I got a phone call from an officer of USAID who said, many women are being raped in Darfur as they leave the safety of their camps. Can you do something about it? I knew that 400,000 men had been killed in the extreme violence in Darfur, and three million people had been living in ragtag camps. What I did not know was another agony unfolding that of systematic rape by the militia of these women as they had to leave the, go out to collect firewood. Uh, in the next months, I discovered that the women cooked on inefficient stoves that you could imagine, which is three stones uh, supporting a pot uh, over a fire, and that this particular way of cooking is one of the most inefficient ways you could possibly cook. It rapidly consumed fuel wood, which made them have to collect even more fuel wood which meant that they were exposed to risk even more. As the deforestation expanded around the camps, their trips became longer and went farther, and their life became harder and more dangerous. My Berkeley colleagues and I worked with Darfuri women to design a stove, the, design the Berkeley Darfur stove. The Berkeley Darfur stove retained the three features that the women most wanted. It had high thermal power, it had visible flame, and it would work with their way of cooking their food with their pots. But it also was fuel efficient, it was low cost, it lasted a long time, and it could be locally built. To raise funds and actually manufacture them and distribute these stoves in the hands of women, we created a nonprofit, uh, Potential Energy, that set up the supply chain, manufacturing of parts, set up that assembly shop you see in the slide, and actually delivered stoves 46,000 of them in the hands of women in Darfur. At the same time, Berkeley became a center of excellence in cook stove design research. We now have not only these stoves in the hands of women, but each of those stoves saves the women half the fuel wood per meal, sharply limiting their exposure and risk. In addition, uh, as uh, deforestation has made fuel wood out of their walking distance, and they have to buy the fuel, each $20 stove now saves these women $1,300 in fuel wood costs in North Darfur, in addition to saving two tons of CO2 emissions annually. But that's not the whole story. The real problem is much, much larger than this. Three billion people still cook on dirty, smoky, inefficient stoves. And exposure to smoke from that cooking will kill this year 4 million people prematurely. That's more than the deaths from malaria, AIDS, and TB combined. So we know that fuel efficient stoves uh, reduce women's hardship, reduce their smoke exposure, and reduce the pressure on the environment. So what's the catch? Well, wealth and power are stratified all over the world with poor women at the bottom and elite men at the top, which often means that public policy and public spending to address problems at the bottom of the pyramid take very low priority. Gender also plays a role. Women's hard work in collecting fuel wood and damage to their health from smoke is often devalued. In addition, in families where men control the money, which is common, men don't see value coming to them from spending cash on a fuel efficient stove, particularly if the women are just collecting fallen wood. Nevertheless, progress is possible. Meet Logman Arja, an architecture student currently in Berkeley. He grew up around one of our Berkeley Darfur stoves. His mother used to cook on that stove in Darfur. So there are many things we can do actually to create an immediate long lasting impact. Leveraging Berkeley's strength and depth in stoves research, we can empower policymakers as well as stove designers to make stoves that their people need. 
and we can support hardworking nonprofits like Potential Energy to deliver fuel efficient, good, well designed stoves to the flood of refugees, such as in Uganda, and to really poor rural populations, such as in rural India. So today, there is something we can do and work together to make for a better world. Thank you.